Hi guys, today's video is basically a big gigantic thank you to each and every one of you guys for helping me to reach this gigantic milestone of 100,000 subscribers. And it's a milestone that I could kind of see coming for the past couple months, but it was kind of so far out of my hopes and dreams of when I first started this channel that I couldn't really believe that it was going to happen until it actually did happen. And to log on to my channel and see that number there was kind of, I don't want to say a shock, because like I said, I could, I could see it coming, but it was just like unbelievable that there are that many people that enjoy seeing what I'm doing with my nails. So I just wanted to take a minute and let you guys all know that I appreciate each and every one of you. And I thought that since I guess that makes me a successful YouTuber, I would answer one of the questions that I get most often on how to become a successful YouTuber. And the first thing I have to start out by saying is, I don't know all the answers. I didn't come on YouTube with like this plan that I followed to the letter and boom, now I'm successful. I came to YouTube because I had maybe two or three of my blog followers that asked me to do a tutorial. And that's where it all began. And at first I was very hesitant because... I wasn't comfortable in front of the camera, and even after almost three years, I'm still not 100% comfortable in front of the camera. Um, you know, it, I, I stumble over my words sometimes. I don't know exactly what to say because I don't make a script, because I don't want my videos to come across as being scripted. I don't want them to come across as being unreachable. I'm just a regular normal person, and... I want to show you other regular normal people that you can do awesome nails at home. So, you know, as far as having a plan, I don't know how useful that is because I didn't have one when I started. Um, one thing I would say is that it's important to do what you like and whatever you like, no matter if you might think it's the weirdest thing on the world, you're going to find somebody else out there that also likes it. But you also have to realize that not everybody's going to like it. Even on my own channel, you know, I do several types of videos. And I know not everybody enjoys the polish and motion videos. They don't get it. What's with this hand waving around with this polish on it? What, what's the point? And then there are other people that can't wait to see those and really enjoy seeing the play of color and the different angles of light and get it. And if you have ever looked at the description of that playlist, it says you either get it or you don't. And the same thing could be said with Hall. Some people look at it as bragging or rubbing other people's face in it, something like that. And other people understand that that has nothing to do with it. It's just showing you guys, hey, look what I found. And, you know, you could go find this too. So you can't expect to please everyone all the time. You can just expect to please some of the people some of the time. Even with my tutorials. Almost every tutorial, I bet you could look in the comments and you would find somebody that says, I hate this design. And you would find somebody else that says, this is my favorite design you've ever done. Everybody likes something different. And if you don't like it, that's fine. I'm not sure why you're spending time watching the video, but that's fine. And I guess that would be another tip, is that if you're going to put yourself out there and put yourself on the internet and put your creativity and your ideas out there, you have to be prepared for the fact that not everybody's going to like it. And some people are going to be polite about it, and some people are not. And the people that are not, you need to decide how you're going to handle them. If you're just going to leave it be and ignore it, if you're going to delete it and immediately block them, or if you're going to, as I occasionally do, poke right back at them. You know, 
there's there's different ways and you know different situations that make me react in all three of those ways I mean if something is extremely vulgar and offensive yeah I'm gonna block and delete because I don't want to see that and I don't want some of my fans to see that on the other hand I'm not going to delete every negative comment because everybody's entitled to their opinion. But if you want to delete every negative comment, your channel is your little corner of the universe and you can do that. And if you want to argue back with them, you can do that too. And sometimes they're honestly so hilarious to me in their assumptions that I can't resist doing that either. But generally, you know, that's just going to feed the fire. It's not going to accomplish anything. I could probably count on one hand the people whose minds I've actually changed. If they're determined to be a negative, bitter person, you don't want to let them turn you into a negative, bitter person. And you're probably not going to turn them into a more lighthearted person. So just ignore them. Um... And my last tip, I guess, would be don't let it become a job. You know, you start out doing this because hopefully it's something you enjoy. If you're getting into it just because you want that popularity or, you know, to see those numbers or to make that money, you're really probably not going to be that successful because... You know, as much as people tell me that I'm boring and I need to liven up, I think that the majority of you guys know that nails are a passion of mine and it's something that I really enjoy. And I wouldn't keep making videos if it wasn't something I enjoyed. And, you know, that's one of the reasons sometimes it's hard for me to fill viewer requests, even though I take notes of them, is that, you know, people request stuff that I really... I don't care about or you know it's something that oh you know that sounds cool but not right now you know I've had people request Halloween designs in April or Christmas designs in July and it's just not happening so while you do have something of an obligation I feel to your viewers because otherwise you know why would you be doing it at the same time, you have an obligation to yourself to um, be true to yourself. And if you enjoy it, you're going to produce more quality content. So I hope that all wasn't too rambly or long or garbled. And if you have any other questions, um, you know, as always, feel free to ask down in the comments. I do my best to get back to you guys except on days when it feels like a chore. And then, yeah, I'll put it off for a day or so because I want to still be able to enjoy helping other people and not, like I said, have it be a job. Another question I get asked rather often is if I will ever do a contest or a giveaway. And so far, the answer has always been no, because First, contests can be a lot of work if you are making it an actual contest rather than a giveaway. And secondly, and kind of more importantly, is that I don't really have anything I'm interested in giving away. Some people assume that because I have this gigantic collection that I want to make it smaller or get rid of certain things. And that's just not true for me because it is really a collection. Even colors that I don't wear very often or maybe aren't my favorite or that I may even have ended up disliking I still like having them I like being able to compare you know colors from older collections to colors from new collections that are just coming out I like looking at them in the bottle even when they're not on my nails I like having them so you know everybody well maybe not everybody but most people I think collect something and it may be something that other people think is boring, like stamps. Or it may be something that a lot of other people think is weird, like nail polish. So even though I have a huge collection, I haven't had anything that I want to get rid of until hopefully now. Um, I've recently, I hope, 
since the official announcement hasn't been made yet, but I'm pretty sure that I won the Orly Show Us Your Flash Glam collection that they recently had on Facebook. And the grand prize for that is all 22 of the Flash Glam glitters. And that is a pretty awesome prize, but the fact is, I already have five of the glitters. And as beautiful as they are, they're not to the point that I feel I need to have what we polish hoarders would call a backup bottle um, in the event that we use up all of our original bottle and can't find any more. So I thought I would, as a thank you to my fans for helping me win the contest, give those five bottles away. Now, as I said, the official announcement has not been made, so I don't want to jump the gun and promise anything, but given that I do in fact win the contest, I will be giving away those five shades from the Flash Glam collection. So, down in the information box, there will be a link to my Facebook fan page. You can like that to uh, be updated on all the latest news. And that is where I'll be announcing the giveaway when I'm actually ready to do it. So, if you want to be able to participate, head to Facebook and like my fan page. And, I mean, I really, never having done it before... I don't know exactly how I'm going to handle it. So all that has to be worked out before I make any kind of official announcement on it. But that is where the announcement will be. So for all of you that have been clamoring for a giveaway or a contest, there it is. I don't know if I will ever do one again. You know, maybe it won't be as difficult as I think. Maybe... You know, I'll win another contest that will give me some extra polish to give away. Or maybe I'll even get some giveaway items from a company. We'll just have to see. Because one thing I've learned over this journey to 100,000 subscribers is that I do not have the capacity to guess what's coming next. Because I never would have guessed that I would be here. So... I think that's all for now. I have a couple other ideas that I kind of kind of would consider almost little rewards for you guys, but I'm not sure that I have the time to execute them yet, so that will be another video and you guys will just have to uh, anticipate that when things settle down a little bit more in my real life. Um, Things have been very busy lately, and normally I would refer you guys to my vlog channel to uh, get updates on that, but I've been too busy to update the vlog channel. So uh, eventually there will be updates there if you want to know the uh, personal details of my non-nail polish related life. But uh, if not, you can stay tuned here. And I have, as usual, more ideas than I have time for. I have a couple videos I've already recorded to show you guys. And I'll be recording a tutorial. Um, I'm going to cut my nails after I finish recording this video. So I'm going to be doing a natural nail FAQ, answering some of the questions like, uh, well, attempting to answer some of the questions like why why is my index nail curved? And that type of thing. And I'll be trimming and filing them on camera. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more tutorials, more polish in motion, more hauls, definitely, because I have a birthday haul and a haul from today at Walgreens. And definitely I would like to do a tutorial for the Olympics. I have a flower tutorial that I really want to do. I have a All Shades of Blue with Rhinestones tutorial that I posted a teaser for on the Facebook fan page like a month ago. So never worry that I'm going to stop because I run out of ideas. The only reason that I stop or take breaks is because I'm too busy to fit in my nails. So I hope you guys stick around with me um, for another several several years another couple hundred thousand subscribers 
because at this point really I feel like the sky is the limit and I don't anticipate stopping tutorials anytime soon because I like them. So hope you guys like them also and as always thanks for watching.